Hello, today I will show you how to request and provide approvals on Trello. Hipparello's advanced approvals power up streamlines your workflow. By allowing you to request and obtain approvals from anyone, in or outside Trello. This means you can manage your approval processes with literally anyone while you remain on Trello. Let's get started. Add the Hipparello Advanced Approvals Power Up to your Trello board. Authorize Hipparello to connect with Trello. Use an existing Hipparello workspace or create a new one. Now, let's create a card to set up a new approval request. First, I'll show you how to manage the approvals process with a Trello board member. Click on the Request Approval button on the card. Select the Trello board member that should approve the card. Craft a note relevant to the request here. An approval request has been sent, and the request details are now displayed on the card. The status of the request and timestamps are displayed here. Other details like selected approvers, requester and additional notes are also listed. You can edit or revoke the request. Now, let's see the review process through the eyes of the selected approver. I've logged in with the approver's Trello account. Now, let's take a look at the card pending approval. The information related to the request is available on the card. You can click on this button to see more information. You can read the request note here. Approvers and requester information is also here. You can approve or decline the request from here. You can add a note while approving the request. When the request is approved, the status is updated. Now I'll show you how to request approval from non-Trello members. I've switched back to the requester's account, and now I will ask a non-Trello client to approve a task. I'm adding a few attachments for which I'll ask for approval. Click the Request Approval button. To request approval from non-Trello members, simply enter their email address. Craft a note related to the request. Choose which information you want the approvers to see. This information will be displayed on the web portal. You can choose to add description, labels, attachments, or Trello custom fields. I want to share one attachment only, so I'll go with selected attachments. and request approval for the card. Request details have been added to the card.
I will now show you how non-Trello approvers can review the requests. The approver receives an email notification when a request is pending their approval. The email contains requester's name, the request note and a link to the web portal. The approver clicks on this link and signs up with the same email to view the approval request. The request is listed under the pending section. The card fields selected by the requester are displayed here. After reviewing the details, they can click approve or decline. It's also possible to add a note, a question, or a justification of the decision. When the request is approved, the status is updated. And the request is displayed in the approved list. Now, I'm switching back to my requester's account on Trello. The actions performed on the web portal are reflected on the Trello card as well. All actions are logged in the activity section. You can configure some settings from the Power Up Action Center. This section gives you an overview of all the approvals on your Trello board. You can manage roles and add new users here. The options here let you enable or disable adding a non-Trello approver and more. This section allows you to edit the content of the automated emails sent during the approval process. You can view other settings from here. You can view your web portal using the link here. Web portal is mobile responsive, allowing you to perform all these actions from your mobile device. See you in the next videos.